malt liquor video time to did Colt 45, did malt the liquor, did glass 40 ounce container, which is certified fresh as fuck. I believe it's May 8th, 2017. <coughs> Will be delicious as fuck. Will be refreshing as fuck. Malt liquor folks, let's get into it. Seen the big cunt Bowski put up another apple juice chugging video. Fuck you. And where do you get a hat to fit that fucking forehead? Still can't figure it out. Malt motherfucking liquor. <sighs> Fuck yes. Getting this fucking over two week vacation started off in the right way. With some motherfucking malt liquor. Did not have any malt liquor yesterday, which was Friday, my last day of work, half day of work. Had to go to my wife's work's Christmas party. They did not have any malt liquor at that slinky establishment. So I was forced to drink just liquor. So I put a hurtin' on a bottle of fucking Maker's Mark, drinking Maker's Mark and ginger ale. One of my go-tos, delicious as fuck, malt liquor. Was an open bar, so I hit it pretty fucking hard. <coughs> pretty wasted by the time I got home. But all in all, a good time. It's at a fucking old ass hotel down in Richmond called the Jefferson. If you got the time, check it out. The place is incredible on the inside. All the, you know, how everything was built and made and all the fucking plaster work and all that shit and the detail. I was talking to a guy there and I was like, when did we stop building shit like this in this country? You know, everything now is cookie cutter and prefabbed, thrown up, whatever. The shit, this place was there either during the Civil War or built right after the Civil War when they were rebuilding Richmond. And uh, just the crown molding and the attention to detail and like, you know, 30 foot ceilings and these ballrooms, just incredible. And we were talking and it was like, when did we stop, you know, the, with the craftsmanship and all that shit? Just put a rush job on everything, throw it up, get it up. Let's open this motherfucker and start making money. You know, let's not take the time to make this place elegant and fucking beautiful. I forgot there was even a fucking game on tonight. Dolphins and Jets. When I remembered who was playing, I was like, fuck it. So I have no idea who won. I think when I looked, it was like seven to six. Uh, Cameron Wake into a strip sack, and fucking Indominus Sue recovered the fumble. But then I went back to watching fucking I don't know some ghost show, some shit like that. And then I was reading. I don't know. Boring fucking night. But spent the fucking better part of the day out Christmas shopping. Good God, this is needed after a day of at the malls and at all these different stores and shit. And I mean, it was fucking crowded. And I don't really mind this time of year being out and it's crowded because it's like, you know, at least people are like holiday spirit. You know, everybody's out shopping. People are walking around with Santa Claus hats on and shit. So it's not too bad. But at 11 o'clock in the morning when you got to turn into the mall and you got to wait through the fucking light like four times just to get into the parking lot. It kind of sucks. But I think between today and ordering shit online, I think we pretty much got all the shopping wrapped up. Except me and my wife normally buy for each other, you know, order shit online or, uh, I tend to go out on Christmas Eve 
every year and get her some things. And she normally does the same thing. So that'll be fun. It feels crowded today. It'll be real motherfucking crowded Christmas Eve. Good night, black, black guy the label. Never thought it would be exciting to go back to just a regular label, but it's good to see it. And now it's not just in that one store. Uh, another one of my go-tos has now got these in stock. But the one that I've been boycotting down the street because they've been raising the prices. <coughs> I stopped in the other day to get a can of dope. And I just looked to see what they had. And they had fucking February Juicy J's on the shelf. And I was like, let those motherfuckers rot there. I have carried my malt liquor business elsewhere. Waiting for this shit to download on my Xbox. It's taken for fucking ever. Some of these file sizes are incredible. I don't know what else. Yeah, Grabowski had a fucking big bear. Looked like a Reggie motherfucking label. You could tell it was fucking apple juice. I mean, once he tried to get away with it one time, how can you trust anything that he does, you know? Got fucking music playing over everything. You know, you can't really hear the fucking crack. You know, he might have fucking edited in a crack sound. You never know about people like this. I mean, these low-life motherfuckers will do anything to try and remain relevant. It is what it is, folks. Once a cunt, always a cunt. I guess Reggie still got his channel shut down. Haven't seen anything from that. Delicious and refreshing. Good until May 8th. 2017, motherfuckers. At this rate, we'll be into June and July ones at no time. A week from tomorrow, boys, and it'll all be over. It's so crazy to fucking build up. You know, it's like over a month of build up hype for fucking Christmas, you know. The shit starts before Thanksgiving now. And within five or six hours of waking up Christmas morning, <coughs> gone. Gone for another motherfucking year. Move on to a little bit of New Year celebrating. There will be some motherfucking malts consumed that night. Believe it. Ugh. Got the motherfucking yawns. I'm trying to think of anything else interesting that happened at the Christmas party. Good fucking food, I'll tell you that. They had a fucking prime rib carving station, shrimp and grits. Ugh. The whole motherfucking nine, it was delicious. But, you know, you gotta wear a fucking suit and all that shit. And I don't like wearing a motherfucking suit. If you can tell, it's just not my style. But shit, it was nice to get off work early. Leave all those motherfuckers there for another four and a half or five hours. But shit, we're all off until after the first, so... They won't too upset. Oh, shit. Currently watching... Mr. Met 40 Ounces State of Things. Appreciate the shout out. I do love the State of Things videos. Kind of gives you a wraparound coverage of what's going on in the fucking 
MLBC, YKDC, and what's going on with him. Said he's been putting in the long motherfucking hours. I know that's right, man. Gotta work our asses off to support the motherfuckers that don't have jobs. I like that bumper sticker. It's like, be sure you go to work, you know. <laughs> Millions are depending on you. We are officially at the motherfucking swill of this 40 ounce video. And we're going to get out of here in a reasonable time. No need to get long winded. I'm going to be off for two fucking weeks. So there will be plenty of malt motherfucking liquor videos for me to get long winded in. For me to entertain all you motherfuckers in. And I'm looking through, ain't nobody got no videos up today. Couple of them. I see Moe's got one up. I think Snowman put one up last night. Shout out to fucking uh, Mr. Rainer. Sub Zero fucking uh, malt liquor videos. Shit here. Wednesday was like 60 degrees. Thursday, and then. When we woke up Thursday morning, the temperature was like 40. Uh, it dropped down to like 25 by like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, Stayed cold as fuck through Friday. Then Friday evening, the temperature went up. Or no, went stayed down. And then last night we got ice and all kind of freezing rain and shit. Woke up, everything slick. It was almost 60 degrees today. Going to be like 68 tomorrow. And then Monday... It's going to be back down to like, the high temperature is like 30 degrees. Like what the fuck man, people will be sick as fuck for Christmas with the temperatures just up and down. Alright, we're going to get out of here, malt liquor. <sighs> Did not reggie this label. Did not drew it in any of the fluid. Absolutely none of dwarfs motherfucking foam. Did enjoy every single ounce. Reverend Godless is the fuck out of here. Malt liquor.